Hi everybody, this tutorial is going to show you how to write, try out and submit your solutions when solving code submission type tasks in text-based coding challenges. I've set myself up for competing. I have a tab open with the tutorials available from the UK Bebras site so that I can copy across any boilerplate code I might need. I also have the documentation website for Python Open, which is the programming language I'll be using in this demo. Those are my resources, so back to the question. This is the question I'm going to be using. It's from an old challenge from 2020. We still recommend using an IDE that you're familiar with for creating and testing your code. But if you haven't got access to one, you can still use our system to write and test your programs before submitting them as your answer. First, select your chosen language. This is likely to be Python 3.10 now, but in 2020 we were using Python 3.8. If you have written a solution in an IDE, simply copy and paste this into the text area. Here is a first attempt at this problem that wants us to convert uh, temperatures in Fahrenheit to temperatures in degrees Celsius using a given formula. We have example input and example output. I now want to try this out without submitting it to the grading server uh, so that it doesn't take so much time. So I can run the code instead of submitting it. And here are my results. I can now have a look at the output. And we can see that we have an error on line one. This is because there was no input. So if we're just going to run our code, it's got to have some input. When we submit our code, it gets sent to the testing server where a variety of inputs are tried and the outputs marked. Let's use the example input and then we know what to expect. We expect 68. This is where we put our trial input. And if we run the code again, we can now see our output is pretty close to what we want. It's 68.0, whereas we want it to be just an integer, 68. A quick fix would be to cast uh, f to an integer. Let's run that again. Now we've got input and output as we expect for the example data at least. Let's try submitting it. And now we've got three out of four. We can have a look at our results. Let's hide some of our other output and tidy it up. So we've passed three out of the four tests and we've got the wrong answer for test data three. It says here, it's also required that when an answer has no decimal component, such as 13.0, the output should be in the form of an integer, such as 13. I'll copy in this from my IDE. So this should work just as it did before. We calculate f in the same way on line 2, but then we run a check. If the integer of f equals f, then that means there's no decimal component, so we print the integer of f. Otherwise, we print f as it is with its decimal component. Let's submit that straight away. It 
we got four out of four. We can also use the system for bug testing, so let's introduce a typo. I can now try a custom submission again by clicking on the run code with the 20 uh, as our test input. We can look at our output. And we can see that we've got an error on line three with a standard error message saying print is not defined. Let's fix that and introduce another common error. So here we've got, as we would normally do when programming um, outside of a competition, an input prompt to tell the user what input's required. But look what happens this time if we run the code. Now we can see that the input was 20, but the output, remember this is what gets sent to the testing grader when we submit, is enter temperature in degrees Celsius 68. But every test is going to fail because it's always got this text at the beginning of it. Let's submit it just to show us that. We got naught out of four. And it says answer wrong, answer wrong, answer wrong. And we now know why that gets sent to the testing server as output. So remember to delete any input prompts or don't type them in in the first place. During live challenges, there are a lot of users and the submissions will not be sent to the grader and marked instantly. This is why we recommend using the IDE you normally use in school. You can run tests in it and get feedback more quickly and then paste a more complete answer into our system when you're ready. Before we finish, let's see what we can do with the results table. We've seen that we can hide output to tidy things up. If we want to go back to an old submission, we can click on restore code to the editor and that brings back the program at that point. In our competitions, the best score that you achieve is the one that counts. We've seen we can show results and hide results. We can also save our program. Uh, clicking on that downloads it. And that concludes this little walkthrough. So I hope this helps you to get started using our code submission task system. Thanks for listening.